Oh, man, it is cold outside. Yeah, it's... Take my hood off here. All right, so it's been a while. You know, I really haven't had a, a product I felt like reviewing. But uh, I'm here today. I'm going to do a review of the big one, the, the Natty Daddy, as camera is... If I can back this up a little bit or... Okay. Well, whatever. So it's it's the big one. It's a it's a natty daddy, and uh, I'm just gonna you know give you my opinions on it. Maybe uh, you know give you a little bit more feedback. And uh, set this camera here. It's I know people don't like the hat. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I'm, I'm partial to the hat. Uh, I know it makes me look homeless, um, which is sort of... But, you know, I kind of like it. You know, I've got the, 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 the suave, sophisticated look going on. But then with just a little bit of hobo pinched in, like you sprinkle it in like that. So it gives it a little bit of flavor. But, you know, this Natty Daddy, I'm not going to lie, this is not the first time I've tasted it uh, ever or today. But it's the kind of thing when you're drinking this kind of kind of uh, adult beverage, you know, you often don't take the time to really uh, stop and think about the taste and the flavor, or whatever. Let's be honest, you're just trying to get a little, you know, you know. Uh, so I mean, like usually you drink this kind of thing. It's like at a party, and like parties, uh, like here's something, like you know, you you go to a party. Or like a social gathering or whatever, like you're supposed to bring something with you. Like nobody tells you this, that you're supposed to bring something with you, but, I mean, you don't really have to, but you, you kind of should, right? You're supposed to bring something with you. Like even if it's just a get together, like if it's a bunch of dudes hanging out, you know, you should probably bring some beer. But it's not really communicated. If you don't bring anything, it's not the end of the world. It's not a huge deal. Well, like it's like, let's say we're planning a little get together. We need to have, uh, uh, we need to have some beer. But I don't really know how many people are going to show up or how, you know, how much we're going to need. You know what? I'm just going to bring a six pack. That's enough for me. And if I got to share a couple, I'll share a couple. Maybe you bring, uh, a 12 pack, you bring a 24 pack. It's fine. It's probably just going to be like four or five dudes. Anyway, that's more than enough beer. But some people start showing up that we didn't think they were going to show up. And now we got to come up with, this, come up with this extra beer. So... Uh, you know, like we gotta come up with three extra cans of beer, it's no big deal. I'll give one, you give one, you give one, it's all fair, I still got five beers, I'm happy. But now let's say we gotta come up with like ten extra beers, cause there's more people showing up. And you can't really divide that evenly. It's like, okay, well we can do three, three, four, it's fine, I can do that. I'll give half of my beer to the people that didn't bring any beer. I still got three, you know, that's enough for now, right, it's three. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to complain, but out of the corner of my eye, I'm thinking, well, you still got, you still got 20. Like, you chipped in the extra one, and you put in four, but you still have 20. You can drink a lot with 20 cans of beer. But I'm not going to say anything. I'm fine. I'm not going to complain. I'll pay my fair share. And there we go. But, like, more people are coming in, and it is just becoming evident and clear that we do not have enough beer at this party for everyone who's coming. Like, there's people showing up. I ain't even met these people before. This guy, he shows up. Uh, I never even met him before. He brought a whole case of beer with him. That's fine. That's good. It chips in. We're, we're staying afloat a little bit. We're not quite dry at this party. But, uh, you know, we still got to do something. Now, you could go around to everybody especially the people that didn't bring anything with them, and say, hey, can you chip in a couple bucks for beer? We gotta go get some more. And that's fine. But if you do that and you still don't have enough, you can't really force people. I mean, if you make too much of an expectation of the people that didn't bring anything, I mean, there's reasons maybe they didn't bring anything, they can't, whatever, it doesn't matter. You start pushing it and you're like, 
you're, you're turning those people off. It's shitty for everybody. It kind of ruins it, right? If you put in this expectation that people have to chip in, like, we all understood that we should have. Like, look, I only brought a six-pack. I probably should have brought more, but I didn't. And some people just didn't bring anything. Maybe they didn't think it was going to be this kind of party. I don't know. I mean, if I knew it was going to be this kind of party, I would have... I don't know. Something about mashed potatoes. But, you know, it's just... You can't force them. Because once you force them, it's not a party anymore. Right? Once you start telling people you got to pay to be part of this party... Like, it's not fun anymore. Now it's like this event and you're trying to like... I, whatever. Bottom line is, you can't force people to chip in, so what are you supposed to do? You know, you start talking to people. Maybe you go to the guy that brought the 24-pack, and you're like, hey, man, we're, we're a little short. You know, I was just wondering if you could chip in a couple extra bucks, right? And he looks me right in the eye, and he's like, hey, you know, uh, I mean, I, he's like, I already brought a 24-pack with me, like a case, and I'm not even drinking that. That's for everybody else. I brought a separate bit. I have a separate, um, you know, you know, little private stash in the truck that I'm not even drinking it. You know, I brought the 24 for everybody else and I'm fine to share that. Um, you know, but like, I don't, you know, I can't just give free beer to everybody at this party. You know, I brought 24 for everybody else. That's more than my fair share. I brought more to this party than anybody else did. And it's unfair for you to ask me but I mean, he didn't say he didn't say it like, oh, I'm, it's so unfair. But like, that's kind of what he was thinking, right? And the thing is, the truth is, is in that small, you know, like, yeah, that's right, man. Like, it, maybe I was kind of a dick to ask you to chip in even more because you chipped in more than I did, and actually, you chipped in more than everybody else at this party. So it's a little unfair. But I thought maybe, you know, you might want to help out the party. You said you still have a private stash out in the truck. Like, okay, maybe that's why you're not worried about everybody else in here running out of beer because you got your own private stash, you know? Whatever, I'm not going to push it. But then you find out that his private stash outside is like 5,000 cans of beer. This motherfucker's got a refrigerated truck outside with just whole cases like on pallets shrink-wrapped inside. He's got 5,000 cans of beer out there. You got 5,000 cans of beer, and you are getting stressed out about me asking you to maybe provide another 24-pack for everybody else? Like, okay, I can understand how it might be presumptive of me to expect you to just, you know, give free beer to everybody at this party, but dude, you got 5,000 cans of beer outside. You can get everybody at this party fairly satisfied for 100 of those cans and you would still have 4,900 cans of beer. Now, I understand, again, just giving away 100 cans of free beer, it sounds like a big thing to ask, and it was. I would never ask anybody of that until I see that you got 5,000 cans of beer sitting outside. And when you're talking about going to your private stash, that's what you're talking about. You got this refrigerated truck outside, you're just going out, you share it with your friends, with everybody else, whatever. That's fine, you know, you don't want to share, but it's not a party if there's a guy who's like, well, me and my buddies are going to get this private stash of like 5,000 beers. I'm just going to pile all these beers up in a vault and I'm going to dive and swim in them like I'm Scrooge McDuck. You know? Uh, like, what do you... I guess my point is, what I'm really trying to get at is I don't ever know how much beer I'm supposed to bring when I go somewhere. Like there's sometimes I go over to a buddy's house and I just bring a six pack of beer and they look at me like, it, like it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Why are you bringing, you know, okay. I mean, we can put that in the fridge and maybe later uh, we'll pull it out. And then there's other times where, you know, you bring a six pack and it's like, well, why didn't you bring more for everybody? So, I mean, I, I just, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do anymore when I'm invited to a party. I don't know. So, uh, Natty Daddy. Uh, it's 8% alcohol by volume. 25 fluid ounce lager. Uh, it's got a barcode and shit. I mean, it tastes terrible, but it works. And it's, like, really cheap. So, you know, when you're invited to a party and you spend all your money buying beer for other people, I guess you could just get a Natty Daddy. And it, uh, it works for you. So, uh, 
good day for me. Don't forget to, uh, you know, like and subscribe and follow me. And if my picture pops up, swipe right if you want the D. Wait, I, it's backwards. I just left. Whatever. Forget what I did with my hands. Just remember, swipe right. And I'll see you 